Hello and welcome to our Ajax testing tool application. Within the upcoming lessons, we're going to explore a lot of things that can be done with Ajax. We're going to be building out this really handy testing tool from scratch. So we see here that it's got a URL and we've got a drop down with a number of options in order to return back and make different types of Ajax calls. And we're going to be building this out from scratch and source code is also included. Also different methods, you can select get or posts and you can enter in some values. So let's go ahead and make a request and see what happens. So we've got our first request there and we see that we've got the response text gets output, status, we've got JavaScript response and we're also console logging that out so we can see that response information there in the console as well. So let's try it with jQuery. So same, same URI, make the request, we see that we get same thing here, output 200 jQuery response, and we've got that data called down there. So these are all different calls that we're making, and you can see that within your console, so they're all XHR calls. Uh, next one is gonna be different, let's try fetch. So fetch is gonna be a little bit different because the type of Ajax, it's gonna be fetch. Uh, if we go into our console, we see that we've got the same information. So they all work the same way. And that's really the point of this application to try it out in a number of different ways. Ways. Let's try the Axios library. So there we go, we get the same old data, 200 Axios response, go over to network and we see it's an XHR Ajax request. We also introduce incorporating post as well. So if we've got Ajax and instead of get, we want to post some values. We can see that we're posting values to this URI. It's receiving them, it's updating them, it's created a brand new ID, and we can do that with jQuery as well. So another post, new ID there. Axios, make the request, another new ID, fetch. And you gotta always make sure that your endpoint can accept posts as well. Otherwise it won't work, you're gonna throw some errors. So this is a very versatile application. There's a number of different APIs you can try out within it, and it's not really up to you. You can add in different APIs, and this one works on get, so let's update that to get. Uh, so this one's Chuck Norris jokes. These are fun different jokes. You can see every time you connect to it, you get a different joke. Uh, this is random user API. These are some open APIs, and there's a lot of different APIs that you can try out. So right now we're doing fetch. You can see that we're retrieving all that information. I'll make it a little bit bigger, so easier to see. Uh, we can do this with JavaScript, making the requests, jQuery, and Axios. So I think you get the point. A uh, really handy little application that we're gonna be building out from scratch. And again, all the source code is included. We're gonna show you how to build this out step by step, and you're gonna get lots of practice with Ajax and the different Ajax ways to make Ajax requests. So all of this is gonna be included, fairly dynamic and versatile application. So when you're ready, let's start building this from scratch.